Good morning. Here we are, Sunday morning. Seems I'm having issues with time management. Seems I can't find enough time. But today I'd, I wanted to talk about something that kind of was on me last night. What it is, is accepting yourself, accepting yourself. Think about that for a minute. How hard is it for you to accept you for how you are? How often do we sit and basically judge ourselves by how others perceive us, others see us? But do you really accept you as you are? in your true form. As you look at yourself right now, do you accept yourself? For some this is still a little early in the morning and for others it might be later. But whatever and wherever you are, how you are, do you accept yourself as you are? You know, I'm finding, for me, I'm going through things, uh, basically breaking through my heart to open up more, more love. And as I find the quest to break away the outer shell of my heart, there are things that get brought up, uh, things that have to be dealt with in the sense of releasing, letting go. For me, this is part of my journey. I'm finding this journey takes me to a place where there's a lot of healing work that, that will continue probably for my life. But it's a process in which it doesn't mean you have to be by yourself. And I know you hear me. To heal. I know. So, accepting yourself and finding who you are. I found for me the first place I wanted to go was through the heart. I believed once I opened my heart up, once I started breaking away the things that I knew were around my heart that I was guarding myself, I always told myself I was seeking love and I, I have been seeking love my whole life. But that was an exterior love. I found later that accepting myself, accepting yourself, that means you have to go inside you. You have to find unconditional love and where that begins is with you. And once you learn how to unconditionally love you as you are, For everything, all the imperfections, that's when you start accepting yourself. It's kind of hard, to, no, it is very hard to love yourself unconditionally when we are bombarded with things that we see on the news, to see on the TV, we see on the advertisements of people and how they look and the forms and shapes in which they are. And we tell ourselves, well, if I was like that, oh, I would truly love myself and I would be loved. I would be recognized by others because I would have whatever it is that people seem to think everyone wants. But honestly, that's not the way it is. We are created as we are, for me. And there's someone out there waiting for us as we are. And that's the thing, is getting to that place of accepting yourself. Okay, right there, I'm feeling, I'm feeling the message there because I, this is for me, probably, more than anyone out there listening. And maybe this is my own self-therapy, maybe. Or maybe 
you're listening right now because this is something you needed to hear. Yes, I know. Accepting yourself. When you start knocking away at, 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 the, at the, the shell, the wall that we have around our heart, you're going to bring up stuff that you may have forgotten. I talk about this sometimes as having things in your closet that you put in there and you kind of covered up. And then once you start going in there to clean your closet out, you start remembering things. And this is part of the healing is, is going in there and cleaning out your closet. But that's the process of, for me, for breaking away that outer shell around your heart. You're going to feel things. And for a, lot of, for a lot of people, that may push you away because you prefer to leave this stuff alone. But in order to truly accept yourself as you are, you have to come to terms with all these emotions that you have in you. And then once you come to terms with them, you have to find a way to release the things that you're holding on to. Stop and think about this for a minute. To... to to love yourself unconditionally, no, let me reverse. How do you ever expect to love somebody until you learn how to love yourself? Now, saying those words is very easy. And receiving the words are very easy. Most people will sit and say all day long, oh yes, I love myself. But I have a couple questions I could sit and ask you. That nine times out of ten, you're going not to answer you first as far as loving yourself because for most of us we're trained to love outside and we go to us last if at all and this is where we have to unlearn some things that we are taught here But once you get to that point, once you start working on unconditional love, once you start chipping away at this wall that you've created, that we've created, that I've created around our heart, protecting ourselves, once you start doing this, this is when it becomes easier to accept who you are, accepting yourself as you are, not worrying about how you're perceived, how you're being looked at. For me, I had... Uh, you know, I, I walk around with a, uh, an attachment. I walk around with a prosthetic limb. And I was told once that nobody would ever want to be with a person with a prosthetic limb. It kind of stuck with me. <clears throat> and even as strong as I feel and have felt that I've been, it kind of, I think I kind of took it in because it, it, has, it sat there for a long time. And even still to this day, I have issues with, I probably, I, yeah, I still have issues. And it's accepting who I am. So now I, I walk <clears throat> and I wear shorts so that everyone can see this is who I am. Part of my process of accepting myself. And it has now become something, it, it is who I am. And I can't deny that. But this is a big part of me accepting myself, who I am. And each has got to find their way in which to accept and find a way to accept the, uh, themselves as they are. But the key is, is going to that place where you start knocking and chipping away at the wall that's around your heart. Learning how to love your own self unconditionally. It's not easy. And you'll always be slapped with things people will say, and you're going to revert back to the, ooh, to the ways of going inside, but going inside in a sense of hiding, sheltering yourself, not accepting yourself, taking the words from other people and letting them set in on your heart, your soul. So, something to think about today. 
hopefully this resonates. But accepting yourself as you are, the beautiful soul that you are. See yourself with beauty from within, and that's what you will project out. It's not an ego thing. It's just accepting who you are. And start changing your own vibration in which you walk with. Walk with love. And soon as you start chipping away at this wall around your heart, yes, you, love, the vibration of love will change you. Everything is different. You will see things different. You start becoming more aware. For me, this is when things truly opened up in my world. And yes, there's been the moments where I've, you know, uh, like the ocean, have the ebb and the flow. I've been forward, I've been backwards. But it makes it easy when you go backwards or however the term, word you want to use, be by yourself, it becomes easier because then you are more comfortable with yourself. And that's one of the benefits of accepting yourself is that you can be your best companion when by yourself it's like, okay, I'm good with me. Now, is it the way it's supposed to be? I don't believe so. But I think we have times when we're by ourselves, And these times are really the times in which we should be learning about ourselves and accepting ourselves as we are. Unconditional love is given from within and it goes out. So I said I was going to cut it short and I go another two minutes. So this is it. Everyone out there that's listening, hopefully you see me on, uh, you, you, you'll find my uh, YouTube channel. Drop me a line if you got anything to say. Subscribe if you're interested. You'll get the updates, whatever comes up, sent to you automatically. Um, this is a beautiful day out right now. Enjoy the beauty of this day wherever it is you are, whether you're under snow, sleet, rain, sun. Enjoy the moment in which you are. Be there. Accept yourself for the beauty that you are. So, be well. Be love. Always, until the next time.